Hi everybody, it's Sandy. I'm coming to you with another tutorial. I have been getting a lot of requests um, from people to show you how to do the cuffs on a campfire cardigan. Um, I was I was doing in the, I'm in the process of doing a tutorial on a campfire cardigan. But I ran out of the yarn that I'm going to be using, so I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the yarn to come in. So what I'm thinking, I thought I was going to do is just do a mini video to show you how to just do the cuff. And because uh, I know that Rose from Rose Likes Crochet is <laughs> eagerly awaiting uh, me to get this done. So unfortunately, I don't know how long it's going to take for my yarn to come in. So I'm just going to do this mini and uh, hopefully it works. <laughs> so, so here is a, oh, I guess I'll, there. So here is a cuff that I have um, on a sleeve of my campfire cardigan, or one, like one of my cardigans. Um, I've already finished this sleeve with a uh crab stitch but we'll just pretend that that's not there <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so what you're gonna do is this this here is the line that you like at the top of your shoulder where your shoulder sits okay uh, this is usually where I start my cuff but you can really start it anywhere on here it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to use this contrasting color so that you can see what I'm doing okay now there's a couple ways to do this okay um, this is going to cinch up pretty good all right and then you're going to get this kind of a puff sleeve Right, so the longer that you make your sleeve before you do your cuff, like you can either make a really long sleeve and then just have a cuff that's like this, you know, this big, or you can have a shorter sleeve where your sleeve is like around your elbow and then have your cuff the whole length of your forearm or partial length of your forearm, right? So, um, so this is going to go from a really wide part to a, you know, cuff size. Okay. There's only going to be a couple of rows that are going to be more of a gradual and then the cuff. So if you want it to be a little less, uh, or a little, the cuff to be a little bit bigger because I have really small wrists, right? So if you've got a bigger wrist, use a bigger hook, okay? Use like a seven or an eight millimeter hook uh, to do this, okay? But the basis for it is pretty much the same. All right, so I'm just going to bring you in here a little bit. Whoop, wrong way. Okay. So you're going to get your yarn, oops, and you're going to attach your yarn wherever, okay. All right, so you're just going to attach, oops, attach your yarn wherever you're going to attach it, okay. Then you're going to chain up two. George just came home. Now Bailey's going to bark. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now what you're going to do is, remember, we're pretending like this, uh, this crab stitch isn't even here. Okay. Now, here's your, your cluster. And you've got your first stitch here, your next stitch here, and then you've got your chain space. Okay. So you're going to start doing half double crochet decreases. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go into your first stitch, pull it up, yarn over, pull through two, 
Then you're going to go into your next stitch and you're going to go in, yarn over, you've got three on your hook and you're going to pull through all three. Okay, oops, I need more yarn. Whoop. Okay, now you have your chain space. Okay, so you're going to yarn over, you're going to go in your chain space, you're going to pull through two, then you're going to go into your next cluster and go into this stitch. And you're going to pull, oh whoops, I yarned over. <laughs> You're going to go into that stitch, pull up, and pull through three. Okay, go into your next stitch, yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, pull through two, then you're going to go into your chain space, pull up a loop, pull through th all three. Okay, go into your next one, yarn over, pull in, pull up, go through two. Okay, go into your next stitch, pull up, you got three, you're going to pull through all three. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay, <clears throat> Go in your chain space, pull up a loop, go through two, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, go through all three. Okay. Okay, and this is going to cinch it up real good. Like I said, if you want it to be a little less evasive, then you're going to use a bigger hook. Okay. Yarn over. Go through your next loop, or your next stitch. Pull through two. Go through your chain space. Pull through all three. Okay, you're going to go and do that all the way around. Okay, and I'll meet you when you get to the end. Okay, now of course this is, looks terrible because it's really contrasting colors and it, it's going over top of a, um, a crab stitch. <laughs> okay, but I'm just giving you the idea of what, it's, what this is. Okay, so you're at the end. Now you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, and you're going to chain up two. Now all you're going to do is a half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, you just do your half double crochet. Oops, where am I here? Do your half double crochet around. Yep. Of course. Hang on, I gotta pull some more yarn out. Okay. Okay. There. Keep going, doing your half double crochet all the way around. Okay, and then here we are at the beginning of the row. <coughs> and you're just going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet. Okay. There you go. Okay, now this is where it really comes together. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to turn my sweater all around here. Okay, so now you're going to chain up two. Now you're going to do front posts and back posts again around your half double crochet. So you're going to go front post, double crochet, 
back post. Go up and through. Back post. Double crochet. Front post. Double crochet. Back post. Double crochet. Front post. And you just keep alternating. Okay, now we're at the end of our row. We're going to slip stitch into our first uh, double crochet. And now we've joined it. Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to keep continue to do the front post, back post for the length of the sleeve. Okay, so you chain up two. Then you go into your your front post here and do a front post. Go into your back post here and do oops, do a back post. Okay. Go into your front post. and your back post. And you just continue this for the length that you want your sleeve or your cuff, sorry. Oops, George's phone's ringing. <laughs> Okay. I'm just going to wait for his phone to finish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So there it is. Front post, back post, front post, back post, front post. And you continue that and it will keep going in and it'll, at you know, a certain point, it'll stop. And that's where you will get your cuff. Okay. Now, I'll show you the difference between the short cuff and the back cuff, or the long cuff. Okay, so this is a shorter sleeve and a longer cuff. Okay, so hang on, let me just put my arm in here. There we go. Okay, so you're going to get this kind of a puff sleeve going on and then you're going to get the longer cuff. So there's my wrist. So it goes up about halfway up my forearm. Okay, and then this is a shorter cuff. It's a longer sleeve and then just the short wrist cuff. 
Okay. Okay. So you get the two different types of cuffs. Okay. So I hope that helps. Um, the other the other example I showed you it looks terrible because it's two different yarn two different yarns and and whatnot and I had to go over my crab stitch but but this is what it'll look like if when you uh, have the the same color okay so and it's so comfortable like these cuffs are so comfortable. And they will loosen up a little bit when you wash them. So they won't be so tight and constricting. Okay, but if you want this to be a bit wider and then kind of come down a little bit, uh, then just use a bigger hook. Okay, I think I used a 5 or 5.5 millimeter hook for this. Okay, and same, I think it was a 6 point six millimeter hook for this one so yeah so there you go guys i hope that helped if you have any questions or if you're stuck uh if you want to do a zoom with me uh, i can do that and i can show you one-on-one uh, -on -one how i did this okay i will leave my zoom number here so there you have it. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Hope it helps. Bye.